Okay, so in this video, I'm going to be becoming a serial killer in Red Dead Redemption 2. So I did this several months back and you guys really seem to like it. So we're doing it again, but this time I've come up with a whole new different list for methods of killing and torture that I can subject my victims to. <laughs> so it's gonna work the same way like it did last time. Every 10 kills I have to switch the method and find a different method to do my next 10 kills with. Also, every 10 kills, my bounty increases by $200. All right, so we're gonna jump right into our first method, which I have dubbed the canoe method. So the plan is to take my victim, hog tie them, put them on a canoe on water, shoot holes in the canoe and watch them hopelessly sink. I'm not even sure if this is possible. This is just a straight up idea that I came up with, but should be interesting. Let's see. Mew. Your skull is about to see some sunshine. Yeah, how's that working out for you, buddy? Put him on our horse. Look at the floor for a bit. All right, I think I found a canoe. This should do. Drop him vertically so he stays on. Oh crap! Oh crap! Nope, he's falling. Wait, no, you can't die yet. Oh crap! He died. I managed to find another victim. Now shoot holes in this thing. Goodbye, lady. Taking you down to Davy Jones' locker. Look, the water is slowly starting to overtake it. This poor woman. Oh, she's trying to lift her head up. It's hopeless, woman. It's not. It's not on your side. Gravity is not on your side. Oh, God. It was such a slow death, too. It must be awful. It's like a tiny Titanic. Oh, well, she's still squirming. I don't know what the typical lung capacity is of an American woman in 1899, but I'm going to guess she's not lasting more than a couple minutes. All right. Well, she finally stopped squirming. Dude, she lasted like 90 seconds. That was impressive. Let me just make sure she's really dead. Yep, she's dead. See that? No red dot, so she's gone. We just gotta do that with nine more victims and we're good. All right, so I've been at this for a while. This is my 10th victim for this uh, canoe method. I'll never get bored of watching it. What the? No, woman, you will not glitch off this boat. You are doing this whether you like it or not. You see that she tried to glitch off the boat. You're not escaping this. These ropes are cutting into my skin. Kind of the point, woman. And now I watch. Always my favorite part. You can only imagine the way she's screaming in the inside right now. The silent horror. <laughs> oh my God. I swear I love making these videos so much. All right, our bounty is going to be increasing by 200. So now it's time for our next 10 kills. And I call this one the cliff hanging method. This is the closest I think you could ever get to actually being able to hang an NPC in Red Dead Redemption 2. Let me show you. I think I'm just going to take one of these oil factory workers here as my next victim. All right, so I found me a nice looking large cliff here. So what we're going to want to do is cut him free. Ain't even worth it. Get him into a free lasso position. Now we gotta angle it in just the right way so that he starts to be taken off a cliff. So just push him, come on. Come on, let's go buddy. Just a little push. I gotta make sure I don't accidentally fall over myself. I mean, I'm the... Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, no, no! Oh my God. Okay, botched attempt. Let's quickly get another NPC. I got somebody else. Come on, Arthur. Oh my God, Arthur, what are you doing? Dude, I don't even know what that was. Like a spinning moonwalk? Come on. And there we go. We've successfully got him. Okay. So here we go. This is what I like to call the cliff method, okay? You just leave the NPC hanging there like a rag doll for your own entertainment purposes, okay? It's like a cat playing with a mouse or something. It's just completely the best fun. And then whenever you're done with him, you let him go. It's a pretty terrible thing. I mean, if the, any of these NPCs have a fear of heights, this is arguably one of the worst deaths you could ever imagine. So yeah, let's go get nine more people for this. Oh, and there he goes. All right, I think I'm gonna leave this guy hanging for a solid five minutes. Just really let that, oh. Never mind. okay. Damn, bro. What's wrong with you, man? Oh my God. Look at that poor guy. Oh, I'm trying to get a good angle so I can see him well. Oh my God. Oh yes, I love the screams. Keep squirming, little buddy. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Oh! Oh, um, 
happy accident. That's what we're going to call that. It's all good. The deaths still count. That guy still died. Uh, serial killers have an uh, infinite number of lives. I don't know if you knew that, but yeah. All right, and this is finally the 10th kill here. All right. Oh, how is this hat even still on? Dude, his hat's defying gravity. Oh, and there he goes, bro. Oh my god, hey! Hey! Oh! No! Oh my god! Did you see the way that wolf was falling? Holy crap, that was one of the funniest things I've ever seen in my life. Oh my god. All right, well, that's that's the 10th kill we're going to be getting with the hanging method. All right, so the third method is going to involve my pet bear. So with the power of a mod, I am able to get a pet bear. Yeah, I mean, you see, he's like my we're like homies. We're like best friends. Uh, basically what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna straight up walk into like town and just let him go crazy and just get my 10 kills for me Anybody that tries to lay a hand on me will be hurt uh, because basically this bear is coded to be my bodyguard So yeah, come on bear. Let's go. Uh, let's go kill some people. Right, I'm not gonna lie I know he's on my side, but he still scares the crap out of me Bro's literally making the ground shake. It's a walking earthquake. You see that bear? There's a town over there. I want you to start killing for me, okay? Go handle the business. There you go. I command you. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. Do you hear the skin tearing off his body? Oh, he tried to fight it back. You saw he had a knife in his hand. No point in doing that. Holy crap. Alright, I think you got him, buddy. Alright, come on. Go get that guy over there. Get the mean guy by the pole. He was bullying me. I haven't seen anything this pathetic outside a dime discount cat house. Bear? Bear, get this guy. Come on, you coward. Let's go. Oh, uh, this is the bad. This is my favorite one so far. Look, it's strawberry jelly. Any more takers? Any more takers? Dude, Arthur's dialogue is perfect. Keep going. Oh my god, he's just this is the easiest one yet. I don't even have to I don't even have to touch my controller. You just sit back and watch the show. Bro, did that guy really just try to walk away? Didn't work though, did it? <laughs> I think the funniest thing, I'm genuinely I'm not even getting wanted for it because it's like they don't think I'm doing it. They they think it's all the bear. But in reality, I'm commanding him. Alright, bear, I got him hogtied for you. Go on, eat him up, bear. Tag team him. Let's go. Right, we need one more person, bear. Come on. Oh, oh my god, we're in the middle of a hanging here. Not anymore. So we're all just gonna ignore this, I guess. Cool, cool. Alright, well he's gonna keep going, but I got my 10 kills. I'm proud of you, Bear. You keep doing good work. Uh, I'm moving on to the next method. Got me over a $600 bounty now. So now we're up for our fourth method, and this is what I like to call dismemberment. What we're gonna do, we're gonna start off by shooting our victim's knees with a varmint rifle, each of the knees with a varmint rifle shot to like permanently cripple them. Then we're gonna shoot them in their hands, blow off their hands, and if they're still not dead, we'll finish them off with a nice course of volatile dynamite to blow up the rest of their dismembered body. That's the plan anyway. So let's give it a go. That's a good first victim. There we go. Sweet Jesus. Nah, he's not helping you tonight, buddy. Now let's shoot him in the knees first. All right, here we go. One knee down. All right. Well, how are you not limping, dude? Oh, oh, never mind. There you go. You see, he's tripping. Oh, you pathetic little weasel. Oh my God, he can't even walk anymore. He's already crippled for life. Let's do the other knee. Oh my God. Yo, this is actually so sad, bro. Oh my God, just stop trying already, bro. This is pathetic. Yes, it is. All right. Oh my God. Bro, he might accidentally kill himself if he falls off the mountain the wrong way. All right, let's go, let's go for his hands next. Still not dead. Use that. Oh my God, no, no. Oh, he's dead. Oh God. Oh my God, we're slipping. We're slipping. Oh my God, how is this guy still alive? Let's get your other hand, buddy. If you would just stop falling for just one second, for the love of God, oh my gosh. It's just pathetic. Just like I said, finishing him off with this volatile dynamite. Well, damn. And as you can see, his corpse is now burning on fire. He will now be ash. That was fun. All right, next victim. We need to dismember nine more people. First knee. It's all over. Second knee. Oh, this guy's still got some fight in him. But maybe not anymore. 
You gonna even get up, bro? Or are you still traumatized? Shoot his hands. It's like crucifixion, but with bullets and a gun. All right, he's still alive, as you can see. He's just suffering. Like, like my my, my guy's just suffering. Now uh, let me give it a couple minutes. I, I need. I just want to watch him suffer. It's part of the fun. Bro's moaning. All right, all right. There you go, buddy. Oh. I almost died myself. Serial killer almost got poetic justice, but we're good. Still alive. Right, Arthur? All right. Still, we need to dismember eight more people. Oh. Look at these. <laughs> Bro, they're li <laughs> What the heck? Oh my god. Literally, they have no idea what to do. They're like, okay. Dude, I did not mean for you to fall into the fire, but that made it ten times better. Alright, well, I guess there's no point in adding a volatile dynamite to these two, right? Nah, we're just gonna do it anyway. Why the hell not? Bon appetit! God damn it, I really gotta start walking a bit further away from this damn dynamite. Alright, last victim. And honestly, I think I'm gonna choose this priest here. Uh, at this cemetery, I don't know why, it just feels like a pro- Oh, father, what do we say about a man who lost his way so awfully? Morgan. Oh. Well, he's crippled and he's already ready to go in the grave, I like it. Dude knows his fate. Alright, shoot his hands. He's trying to squirm. Alright, cool. And volatile dynamite him. Oh, sorry officer, you did not see that. Holy crap. Alright, I'm out, I'm out. Dude, I do have like an $800 bounty at this point, so I gotta be a little more careful. I may have gone a little bit close to town for that last kill there, but it's okay, we can escape. I feel like the world is starting to realize that there's a serial killer on the loose. So after seeing that guy get burned alive, that did inspire me for the next method. But the thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, set up a camp. So obviously we've got a nice fire there, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my next victim, hog tie him, Somebody help. and uh, cook his body over the fire. Gotta get his body right on the fire so he starts cooking up. There we go. Alright, now the reason I want to do this is because now I can craft food over his body. Over his burning corpse. I can legit- I legitimately cook my food over his burning corpse. This is the closest you will get to cannibalism in Red Dead Redemption. Oh my god. Well, dude, how do I come up with this? I'm actually like a serial killer genius. Alright, let's go find more dead bodies to cook over. Use their human flesh as a condiment for my recipe. Nobody help me! Nobody helping you today, buddy. Oh, this is like... Bro, what the heck am I looking at right now? Delicious. All right. Well, that's 10 people killed. Uh, closest thing to cannibalism ever. Now for the next method of killing. Now this one is pretty simple. I just straight up want to just shoot someone in the neck with an arrow. Like a bow and arrow to the neck. I've heard that if you do that, it's a very painful death for the NPC in Red Dead Redemption 2. So, like, we, we gotta try that. Try to use some small game arrows for this so it's not too damaging. Okay. Let's give this a try. Arrow to the neck. Oh! Oh, that couldn't have been nice. Oh my god. Okay. My guy's stumbling. Dude. Oh. Huh? Uh. Sorry, dude. Oh my god. Dude, I had no idea what to do. The arrows just straight up fell out of him. Bro, what is this guy doing? Oh, he is writhing in pain. Okay, let's just try it one more time. In the neck. There we go. Holy crap. Look at that. Look at all that blood. Damn. Goddamn. Nine more people to go. I definitely am liking this method. What about you, sir? Oh, God. Damn it, he was alive for a second, but the impact off his horse killed him. Aw, oh, dude. Oh my god, I love this so much. Alright, should be the last guy. Oh my god, dude, are you okay? Holy crap, dude, that is not okay. Dude, you good? Dude, he's like, he looks like that hunchback guy. Who's that character that hunches in those things? I don't even know. Bro, dude, that is, that is very painful. Holy crap. And there we go, he's finally dead. Thanks for the arrow. Now for our next 10 kills. Over a $1,200 bounty, by the way. Still, surprisingly, I'm trying to be as quick as I can going across these states, so I haven't even encountered any bounty hunters yet, but I do know if I stop for a second, they'll be on the hunt. Everybody knows there's a serial killer on the loose now. So for this one, what I'm thinking I'm gonna do, we're gonna come to the saloon in Rhodes, and basically I've given myself two pet cougars. Attack! Attack! <laughs> I just wanna end it this way. Come on, attack cougar. They're being mean. 
Get him. Oh, good job. Good job. Thank you, Cougar. Oh, my God. Oh, this is even more brutal than the bear attack. Good job. All right, that's two. I need you to get me eight more, Cougar. Oh, damn. That was Gavin's friend, too. R.I.P. R.I.P. Gavin's friend. Yo, we got some bounty. We got some lawmen on me, Cougar. I need your help. Oh, God. Cougars, I need help. Come on, go, go do the work. Go do the dirty on them. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. I almost lost my life there. This way, cougar. All right, so I've decided to bring my cougar family to Strawberry because it's getting a little bit hectic in Lemoyne. So, uh, yeah, go eat for me. We still need a couple more people. Come on. Attack. Attack. Attack my children. Oh, God. Good job. Oh, my God. Holy crap, he went flying. It is time to feed. Come on, I'll even make it easier for you guys. Here. Eat. Goodness gracious. At this point, this is just becoming mass murder. I mean, the entire town is dying. Oh, God. All right, should be the last one. Good job. Okay. There we go. That's 10. He's doing an excellent job. I mean, at this point, they're probably going to just keep going for bonus points. Yeah, I mean, look at him go. Look at him go. What a G. But yeah, basically, that was me becoming a serial killer in Red Dead Redemption 2. I enjoyed it very much. Uh, I definitely think I have a lot more interesting ways I'd like to kill NPCs and stuff. Uh, if you guys would like to see that, then make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and hopefully we can make a part three.